Now, this is an excellent question uh, that was asked in NCA uh, level 2 on the topic of trig equation, solving trig equation. Now, here yeah, the equation is like this. The number of rabbits on an island is monitored for one, one, for one year. At any time after monitoring begins, an estimate of the number of rabbits R can be modeled by this equation by the function of the form R, where is R is the number of rabbits, A minus B sine CT. Now A, uh, you should know, is the, amp, is the baseline. Okay, I'll write a short form baseline. B tells me the amplitude and C tells me the period. So these are the three things you should be knowing. Okay, so A, B, C are the three important, or uh, they are constant. It says A, B, C are positive constants. T is a time in months since the monitoring begins. Now here it's a minus, so I've drawn a sign, a sign graph, say uh, this is your X axis and this is Y axis. So this is zero, this is a 90, uh, 180, uh, 270 and 360. Okay. So this assigned curve has a cycle of, uh, as a period of 360 degrees. So this is one and this is negative one. Sign starts at zero, zero or baseline, hits the maximum, hits the baseline minimum and uh, again back to baseline. So if sine curve from baseline goes up minus sine x from baseline goes down. So that's the opposite or this is a reflection of this. So this is sine x and this is minus sine x. Now here I can see this, if b is positive, this, your, your graph should look somewhat like this. So let's read the question further. Let me change it to blue now. Okay. The number of rabbits on the island is initially estimated to be 1200. So this information tells me when t is 0, start of time, number of rabbits is 1200. Okay. The maximum number of rabbits is estimated to be 1600. So your maximum is 1600. So I'm saying if I start this as the baseline at time 0, uh, you have the baseline is instead of 0 it is uh, 1200 and this is the maximum. So the amplitude you can understand, this is the amplitude, the distance between the baseline and the maximum is called the amplitude or the distance between the baseline and the minimum is also amplitude. So amplitude is maximum minus baseline. Okay, so I'm going to say well I'll treat this as the baseline and this as the amplitude. If this is the baseline and this is the amplitude, sorry, this is the maximum, sorry, this is the uh, this is the maximum, sorry, it's already given. So if you want to find amplitude, I can write amplitude is maximum minus baseline. From maximum, if you take away baseline, you get the amplitude, which is 1600 minus 1200, which is 400. So baseline is, sorry, amplitude is 400. So if you know the amplitude and the baseline, you can also find the minimum. So what's the minimum? So minimum is nothing but, uh, you can say baseline plus, sorry, baseline minus the amplitude. So let me write the formula. It is baseline. You don't need to remember any of this formula. If you use logic, this this is your amplitude. This is this is amplitude. I'll write A here. And this is also amplitude. Okay. So from baseline, if you add amplitude, you get the maximum. From baseline, if you take away amplitude, you get the minimum. So I'm saying baseline minus amplitude is my minimum. So baseline is 1200 and my amplitude is 400. So the minimum is 800. So in other words, uh, what is this information telling me? That the number of rabbits in the island is oscillating between 
800 which is minimum and uh, 1600 and the baseline being 1200 okay now the last information the period is so you can say the period is so let me write that change color period is 12 months now this is a formula you uh, it's very helpful the formula is period is 360 I'm working in degrees so 360 divided by the coefficient of the unknown or the variable this is the formula so here it is a coefficient of t so I can say period in this in our case is equal to 360 divided by the coefficient of the variable the variable is t here okay so we can say it's 360 divided by c the coefficient of the variable is c in this case so do we know the period yes we know the period is 12 is equal to 360 divided by c okay now you can use your logic or 360 divided by which number gives you 12 or you can, if you make c the subject c is 360 divided by 12 so 12 goes in 36 three times okay so that is 30 okay so my equation will become r is baseline a is the baseline so baseline we know is how much 1200 is 1200 minus the amplitude what's the amplitude the amplitude is 400 sine c c is 30 t so this is my formula so let's check whether this is right so get your calculator out go to graph okay so let me i have already typed that in to check before i did it so i'll type in 1200 minus 400 sine of 30 of 30x okay x is same as t yeah the variable is x i to set the, the 0 to 12 for the 12 months and i've gone from 0 to 1800 because i know the maximum is okay so this is so can you see this is one cycle of okay so let me check so you got g sol maximum maximum is nine after nine months it's 1600 and g sol minimum is uh, 800 okay now let's read the question that's the question how long during the year of the observation would the model predict that there were more than 16 uh, more than 1500 uh, rabbits so let's draw the curve so if you draw the curve always good to draw the graph okay so this is your y-axis this is your x-axis what's your baseline the baseline is 1200 so this is 1200 this is your maximum and this is your minimum okay so on your x-axis this is your r number of rabbit and this is time t okay so you got a period of 12 months so this is zero uh, so, so this is so this is 12 months so half of 12 months is six months three months and nine months okay so it's a negative sign curve so you're starting your base this is 1200 okay so this is 1200 this is 800 rabbits and this is 1600 so your sine curve starts at your baseline so this is starting at baseline and as it's negative sine curve it goes to the baseline sorry minimum this is then it hits the baseline in six months nine months is maximum and this is comes back to so your graph would look like this it's going from so okay i hope you understand okay that's not important okay so the question is when would 
for how long during the year the observation would be more than 1500 so where is 1500 so 1500 if this is 1200 and this is 1600 so i will say 1500 is year so these are the two times so they're asking us when is this for how long duration so this is your t1 and this is your t2 now we can use a calculator so this is nothing but your t1 and t2 the question is you want to find t2 minus t1 so so let us draw that we have already got the graph so this is 1500 so let me write here so this is 1500 so when your rabbit is 1500 what's uh, for what duration that is t2 minus t1 is your beyond so between this two so at this point uh, it is uh, 1500 and again at this point so between this two you it's beyond or more than 1500 so g sol and go x calc for 1500 so t1 is 7 point say 6 2 months or I can say 7.6 months so t1 is 7 point t1 is 7.6 months okay and t2 if you scroll is 10.4 months okay so t2 is 10.4 months so the question is in how many months is it okay let's see for how long during the year so your time your answer is t2 minus t1 is 10.4 uh, menu run 10.4 minus 7.6 so you can say for 2.8 months so for 2.8 months the number of rabbits were more than 1500 rabbits hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next video